hi guys welcome back to my channel i know that you see the title so i won't even waste your time let's get into it but first please remember to subscribe and i currently have a giveaway going on on my channel for a 30 dollars gift card usd so if you are interested in that feel free to see my last two videos and get the instructions on how to enter entries close soon let's get into it so csec mathematics is one of the most dreaded exams and i know that a lot of you are already feeling hopeless after the paper two but let me tell you there is still a chance you still have the paper one and that still contributes significantly to your grade so implementing these tips could make the difference between whether you pass or fail even just by a little bit so let's do what we have to do and the first tip is to learn the relevant shortcuts what i mean is that if there are any shortcuts to math that could help you in the exam please learn them because you won't be able to use your calculators with this paper and i know that's an issue for a lot of people so a lot of people can do the questions but one they cannot use their calculators two they don't have enough time because they have to be spending less than one minute or just over a minute on every single question can you imagine that so once you go through past papers if you find any patterns or any little shortcuts that help you to solve problems faster please practice those and double down on them because they could be what save you in the exam the next tip is to know how to use process of elimination so given the time constraint that you have in the exam you won't get to work out every single question so ensure that if you see a particular question and you see some answers that are way far off like in every question the answer value will either be too big too small and then you'll have those two similar answers that you kind of have to work to differentiate between so eliminate those far off answers first and then try to eliminate or to lessen the work that you have to do because remember you don't have a lot of time sometimes you won't even get to work out the question you just have to eliminate and say okay this is the answer based on what i know so strengthen your elimination skills especially for math and a way to do this is to go through past papers i know that it has been said and done everyone says it but it is true the next tip ties into this so math has some common tricks that they use to trick you right so what i want you to do is while you are going through past papers make a note of these tricks that i use so that you can remember the morning of the exam okay i won't fall for these i won't fall for these because those tricks are so easy to fall for and then when you look that's a mark that's gone off your paper so really try to understand this they're not only trying to test how well you can do the questions they're testing your knowledge and your common sense so it's easier to identify these tricks early on so that when you're actually doing the paper you can avoid being fooled because this is why so many people think they do great in the exam and when they get their results the results aren't good so ensure that you read the question properly and look out identify the common tricks before you go into the exam so you're less likely to be so this next tip i want you to take it with a grain of salt but ai is your best friend now in the past without ai we'd have to do the papers we send it to our teachers wait a day or a few days for them to mark it and send it back now you have ai you have fast responses the only downside is that sometimes it's not entirely accurate in its calculations but you have those ones online specifically built for math that will really give you the correct answer most of the times and they can also explain why the answer is correct or you can say is there a shortcut to answer this question so what you could do is go through past papers put the question into ai have it walk you through the question this could be one of the best things that you could use ai right now it can actually help you to study and it can actually help you to do well and no you don't have to be calling your teachers every minute to explain a question and even when you go through past papers on youtube sometimes you still don't get it after their explanations so you can definitely go to ai take it with a grain of salt but for the most part it works and it will help you to understand it next go through past papers i know that i have been mentioning it but i did not put it in a tip by itself 
but it does deserve to be in one because this is so so important sometimes you can do the questions but it's just a structure that you're not familiar with and with the time for you to figure that out so going through these past paper questions will help you to be familiar with the structure so you can just get work and a lot of these questions would be for math as well for math it's kind of harder to spot the repeat because it's such a heavy subject but it can still make the difference and certain questions you just know how to do when you go through the past papers so definitely do not underestimate that please use the time leading up to the exam wisely and catch up on things that you didn't get to learn so if you didn't get to finish the syllabus for paper two or you did not get to finish studying please catch up on those topics no 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 so that you can do better on the paper one a good resource some good resources are csec math done by terry david or you have kerwin springer those two come on guys if you don't know who they are by now what are you doing so go over to their channels look at their paper ones and look at their videos going through certain topics and try to get them in time for the paper the next tip is more of a practical one that you can employ while you're taking the exam so it's not to hitch on a question for too long so if you don't know it like if you cannot instantly start to work it out skip go to our next question remember to mark it so that you come back remember to find the time to come back and even if you don't have the time you can just come back to circle something skip to the ones that you are sure about if you're not sure about anything skip to the one that you are most sure about but you have to do the questions that you know how to do first and then you can come back to that to ensure that you can get all the marks you can possibly get so you can get your sure marks and then you can do something for the rest based on your case final tip because this video is very short it's just a little last minute thing for you is to remember god pray for strength pray that you remember everything pray for the ability to just have the knowledge locked in your mind pray so that you won't be nervous pray to have all anxiety removed because sometimes it's really just that anxiety that forces everything out of our brains just pray 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 and that's it good luck i wish you guys all the best i hope that you all do well and i know that you got this now thank you for watching this video and if you liked it please give it a like and subscribe remember to enter the giveaway and that's it